Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the integration by paths formula correctly because I have seen a lot of mistakes that students do when they are using the integration by paths formula. Okay. All right. So first of all, I know most of the courses and most of the teachers don't use this F and G prime version of the integration by paths formula. They use the U and V form so let me teach you the u and v form really quick now u is really f here so let's say f is u and let's say v is g all right okay so let's try to fill out the formula using u and v try to rewrite the formula using u and v now f is u so that's here okay now what is g prime now g prime is the derivative of g right so derivative with respect to x so dv over dx is g prime right g prime x so actually we have g prime x dx here so that is dv is if you take this dx to the right hand side it's g prime x dx okay so here g prime x dx can be replaced by dv now f is u v uh, g is v so this is u v minus now we already know g is v so that's okay but here f prime dx now what is f prime dx again f prime is derivative of f with respect to x so du over dx if you differentiate u with respect to x that means f you get f prime so f prime dx look at here it's f prime dx okay so f prime dx is actually from here du is f prime x dx right so we can replace this f prime dx whole thing by du so this is actually v du here all right all right so this is how they get the formula out of f and g prime formula to u and v version now here's here's something let me highlight several terms this term here that's correct this term here that's correct okay this term here that's correct this term here that's correct okay so what the change from this formula to this formula is correct but the process is wrong i did something mathematically wrong now i want you to learn this for one time in your life okay so what do i mean so here to get dv is equal to g prime times dx from to get this formula here from this formula or to get this one from this statement the process is wrong so to get g prime dx i treated dv over dx as a fraction right so that is why i could i can take dx to the other side so that's a mess so let me write it again so dv over dx is g prime i treat dv over dx like a fraction and i took dx to the other side but you cannot treat dv over dx as a fraction i know you have been treating it like a fraction in your whole life right well here's the thing i want you to understand this very well it is the definition for derivative it's a it's a notation it says that i take the derivative of v with respect to x so it's an abuse of notation to treat it like a fraction it is not a fraction even though this look like a fraction but you said to me you can say you said to me that this is correct right if it is not a fraction how can this statement be correct well that's a definition so what really happens here even though it's wrong to treat this dv over dx like a fraction if you treat it like a fraction you still end up at the correct answer the process is wrong but if even though you do the wrong thing you get the correct answer so that's why everyone forget about the fact that it uh, forget about the abuse of notation and just treat it like a fraction so you can treat it like a fraction it turns out to be the correct thing but i want you to know for one time in your life that it is not a fraction okay we call this the definition of a differential not the derivative differential so it's this comes from a definition these two statement comes from a correct definition not by treating them as a fraction but if you treat them as a fraction well anyway you get the correct thing i just wanted to wanted to teach you that okay all right don't think about that too much okay so now we have this u and dv formula how do we use it well 
here's the most important thing yes i i talk about a lot of things but let me teach you something how do you do integration by parts well you have all you have to do is you have to use the formula so let's me write it again u d v is equal to u v minus v d u okay now i know most of the students have the struggle to figure out what is u what is dv or what is f what is g prime but that's a topic that we can learn in the next video okay let's learn slowly how to use the formula correctly because most of you do it wrong okay and most of you do a lot of mistakes when you use this formula what do i mean let me take an example so we want to integrate x times e to the x dx now we said that we compare this to the left hand side of the integration by parts formula first thing you want to do is you want to choose u and dv correctly okay but let's focus on that later let me say that okay here u is x so i have done the work for you so really you should have select u carefully first choose u don't think about dv first first choose u okay now let's say u is given to you let's start from there when u is given to you think what is dv now dv you can say it's ex this is the first mistake that you do now i say this is wrong dv is e to the x times dx i want you to wrap your head around this very carefully u you choose to be x and dv comes out to be everything else including this dx term i want you to understand that because i know teachers will take points off if you do not have this dx part if you have a uh, dv just equal to ex okay so you don't choose u and v you choose u and dv once you choose u once you're done with your choice of u everything else in the integral is dv i want you to understand that carefully and don't forget to include that dx term because dv we said that it's a differential so you should have this dx term in it in in that term in your selection okay you have to understand that carefully you cannot have a dx term like you cannot say u is x dx because u is not a differential differential you have this dv that's how you write a differential okay so don't forget to include this dx okay i want to emphasize that okay now you have u now you have dv next thing you should do is now you want to fill out this right hand side of the formula so what else we need so we already know u we need v we know dv how can we get v well dv is the differential now if you want to get v out of dv you can integrate both sides c okay so integrate both sides so let me write it down so let's integrate the both sides because you have the differential you integrate clearly understand that sometimes students differentiate here no you don't differentiate because you already have a differential so you integrate to get v you have dv to get v you have to integrate understand that carefully so if you integrate dv here you have one if you integrate with respect to v you get v right think about it carefully if you integrate just a one with respect to dx you get x right just like here instead of x you have v now if you integrate e to the x you get e to the x so this is what you write okay all right so that's e to the v is e to the x we you know u we know v now we need du right so du you know u how can we get du that's the question now to get du you have to differentiate so differentiate u du over dx if you differentiate x it's one now du is a differential again understand that a differential should have dx right differential should have the different this part on the right hand side again just like dv had dx here right just like dv had dx here du also should have this okay so let's fill out the formula now what is u u here is uh well x and what is v v is e to the x minus v is e to the x what is du du is dx so this is what you get after you fill out the formula now integrate so x times e to the x minus if you integrate e to the x you get e to the x with the arbitrary constant you get 
plus C. Okay, so that's how you do integration by parts when u is given to you. Let's try to practice that when u is given to you. Let me do one more problem. Let's say we want to do x cube ln x. We want to integrate x cube natural log x. Now look at this carefully. Let me say u is natural log x. That's given to you. Now pause the video and think what is dv. Okay, you don't choose v. You choose dv. Okay, what is dv? dv is everything else except natural log x because that is your u so it's x cube dx don't forget dx okay that's very important now we know the formula it's uv minus v du right okay so we know you what is v so if dv is x cube we integrate x cube to get v right dv is x cube so integral of x cube is x to the 4 over 4 now we know du what is derivative of u du over dx is derivative of natural log x is 1 over x now what is du du is let's take this dx to the other side it's 1 over x dx now remember du is a differential so you should have the dx part okay and dv is a differential and you should have the dx part but v is just a function no differential u is just a part just a function and you don't have dx or anything else right okay now let's substitute them into the formula u is natural log x v is x to the 4 over 4 minus v x to the 4 over 4 times what is du 1 over x dx don't forget dx okay all right now here is another important step once you come here you have to check whether you can simplify your integral further more or not here i can cancel out of 1x right so definitely do do that don't forget to check that step check whether you can simplify it or not so what we get is x cubed over 4 right now integrate integrate after simplification in the previous example we didn't have anything to simplify so i didn't do that part i didn't check that part if you integrate x to the 3 you get x to the 4 over 4 another 4 now you have already have a 4 here so what should be the answer here 8 oh no dx 8 no it's multiplication 4 times 4 16 that's another big mistake that you do you write here as 8 when another 4 comes down it's 4 times 4 16 okay so i i told you three types of mistakes that you can do in this problem one thing is forgetting this dx in dv and in du don't do that the other thing is that forget to simplify terms here make sure that you check pause and think whether you can simplify that or not okay because this should be an integral that you can integrate very easily and then once you do that make sure you deal with the constants here very carefully okay all right so that's what i have for this video in next video let's practice more how to solve uh, integration by parts problem when u is given to you but after that video we will learn how to choose u correctly okay all right so i will see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye